Napoleonic Fanatics, we are back once again with another NTW3 historical battle for you today as we cross off another one of that long list of battles uh, we are trying to recreate as we try and get every single historical battle covered in the Napoleonic Wars on NTW3. And this is another uh, Iberian Peninsula uh, battle. We have the Spanish here marching towards Saguntum to try and relieve the siege of the city. And uh, the French army led by Suchet has broken off um, to at least most of its army to deal with this Spanish threat. A small section of their army, still of Italians, still besieged the town, uh, which really is actually here. For some reason, this is marked as Segunto, but it's actually a big fort, so it should really be like, I don't know, somewhere off to the side. A huge fort, really, rather than just a little townhouse uh, of Segunto. But yes, uh, this battle... It's not the battle fall, uh, between the Carthaginians and the Spaniards in like 200 and something BC. This is a battle in uh, 1811 um, as Suchet marches down the eastern coast uh, towards Valencia um, to try and take that from the Spanish. But on his way, he has to take the town of Saguntum, which does have a pretty sizable fort and, and garrison uh, of Spanish, Spanish troops. Uh, the Spanish army led by um, Blake is on the uh, march and is going to try and relieve the, the siege. Uh, in history, uh, Suchet actually does defeat them. I think he has a va uh, pretty much, uh, like a vastly larger, uh, sorry, vastly smaller army uh, than, um, than Blake. Yeah, Blake has somewhere between uh, 23 to 28,000 troops and... Uh, and Suchet has somewhere between 18 to 20. So he's got a fair amount of troops. Uh, it's a good 8,000 troops less if you go with the higher tier uh, sort of estimations of, of troops. Um, but we do have a very couple of various different uh, courses. It sort of help balance it. We have a couple of um, uh, different uh, seven points. We have a free air here. We have a, a, a Santo Sildes over there. And we have two Blake uh, cores as well. So Blake uh, in history really stacked up on the left. Tried to take the high ground. Um, in this battle and then try and uh, throw back uh, the French there and then force his way towards Saguntum while the right was supposed to just sort of delay and pin down as much as the French as possible. Uh, the French didn't really um, play by Blake's sort of rules and just ended up charging straight down the middle with cuirassiers and, uh, and some Italian cavalry as well if I remember correctly. I can't. I think that's um, well, certainly some Italian dragoons charged straight down the middle. I think there might have been also like 350 cuirassiers sure. in this battle. But uh, I don't think we have Karassis in this one, unfortunately. But we do have Poles, which the Poles were in this one, as were um, Italians and Neapolitans and, yeah, a whole bunch of different factions. Really, really cool. Um, like, all mixed of the, the French armies. The Peninsular armies are definitely the most um, go with foreign. Uh, not a lot of French troops, a lot of other uh, nationalities ended up serving in the French armies uh, in these battles. Um, but yeah, we're going to see whether the French can win this one again. They're on the defensive in this one, but already seem like they're playing a lot more of an aggressive game. We've got yeah, a bunch of Poles already pushing forward here, along with some like, Italian troops. And, I don't know what they might be. They might be Italians as well, to be honest. As uh, the Spanish are really just dashing for this hill. They're really just trying to get up here and onto the top of the hill. I think all of the... Uh, all the French are Suchets. I could be wrong. I can't, it's been a little while since we did this, uh, this battle. Um, and we did do it on a stream as well, so I'm playing in this one. I think I'm playing as the uh, Santo Sildes uh, Corps, playing as the Spanish for change. And uh, I'm already having to get into a gunfight here against the Poles, who've got, who've got the high ground, which, uh, yeah, uh, Kenobi would be pleased by. I can hear a charge already taking place, as it looks like we've got Spanish uh, SARS going in. I think Pathfinding's kind of screwed them up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, there they go. In they go. It looks like against... I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. I think it's a Hussar. I'm not quite sure what nationality is the French have there. But it's a Hussar versus a Hussar. That is for sure. And then in go some provisional dragoons uh, for the Spanish. So they're kind of side-charging a bit of their own side and also the French. And there you go. The Spanish route first. First blood to the French. And the French are going to send forward more cavalry as well. These guys kind of been slow going. I don't guess they're going uphill, but yeah, provisional dragoons by the looks of it going in. And they're going to try and charge into the side of the uh, Spanish dragoons as well as this turns into a bit of a mix of a cav fight here. And there's some more cav coming in, some Casadores, some light cav going in. There's lots more cavalry as well still assembling back here for the, uh, for the French, including an Italian dragoon. Are these guys going to, you know, 
retreat history just smash down the center of the Spanish lines and uh, yeah basically roll up the entire Spanish army we'll see I'm interested to find out it looks like actually French are going to go in straight away to poles this try then the visceral legion poles these aren't any old poles they're yeah, proper elite ones and uh, yeah they're technically part of the Imperial Guard at various like points oh yes really good poles they don't want to mel uh, they don't want to shoot though they want to get into melee if they're going to do anything all the moving forward here. Some of them have like, uh, like, the, like the typical French Shaco, and then some of them have the actual like Polish. App, which I can't remember the name of the Polish app, but it has got a name. I know that for a fact. But yeah, they get into a good old line fight. The Italian troops they will prefer that, uh, but the Poles, yeah, I mean, shooting these guys, killing a few of them, that's every one of them that drops is a win for the Spanish. A lot of Spanish cav actually assembling at the bottom of this hill as well. Looks like they're trying to reorganize a little bit. Blake's uh, Blake's cavalry army gets ready. And Blake, yeah, assembling his other... Uh, the other co uh, core of Blake is moving up down this road here. We actually have some Royal Guard infantry as well. Very, very nice. Yeah, they're moving forward. I, I like how this battle does have a, a unique map. But yeah, it does seem odd that like they didn't actually add a, a four. That's kind of like the, the part of the aspect of this battle. Like they're, they're relieving a seat. So the volunteers here go, I mean, yeah, the Italians go to the melee first. That's not so bad for the Spanish. They actually ra lost one already. I think that's in a line fight rather than a melee. So there you go. The Avista Legion is getting stuck here. And it's 2v1. Spain should lose. And here we go. That's a decent volley there from the Poles. And they've got the, these guys to orange line. Now they're going to charge into melee. And this is how the French play best on the front foot. Decent volley there from the uh, from the Spanish. That might route that Polish unit, you know. They're redlining. Or not. And there you go, the Spanish route there. And it's actually now affecting this unit here. I definitely had just brought a, a good variety of just like poor quality troops and also uh, some pretty decent ones. Good shots here in the side by the skirmish. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Italians. Routes them. And you know the Spanish are kind of being held in place here. Oh, sorry, the um, the Poles are kind of being held in place here by the Spanish. We are going to see some Cav now uh, being sent forward. These look like some Hussars. Don't look like they're anything more anything too special, but just some Hussars. Sort of. And then back charging the road cat uh, own infantry. That's definitely not going to help the situation. Trying to smash their way through. Uh, they might break this infantry here. None of these guys can form square the infantry of point. Okay. Oh, so I don't know how you say that really. And there you go, they uh, looked at the bolted break, but they did break the Spanish as well. That's okay for the Spanish, they can take that loss. Yeah, more infantry coming forward here. A lot of infantry being sent forward. And the cab actually, yeah, it's still breaking through and it's causing some, uh, some issues here. And uh, looks like, yeah, French cab has been found on the far flank over here as well. As the Spanish kind of just having a standoff there. Uh, I think the French did bring their really good, yeah, Polish, like, this is an this is an old guard Polish Lancer here, that's a very good unit. Um, so yeah, the, the, uh, the French have brought that, I'd say, yeah, that's going to really give them the edge in that cab fight, that is for sure. The French, yep, have invested the town hall, they've got their line set up pretty much uh, around the town hall, and the Spanish now just have to sort of, you know, dig in, they're probably going to start blasting uh, the, the building with their six-pounders, they can't destroy it because then... Um, that is the objective of today's game to take this building it is so if they uh, destroy it with the French inside the French indefinitely control it um, so they want to just damage it to like maybe 50 60 percent get the units all like half strength and then storm it and they brought Royal Guard which I think they're gonna be the guys given the job of storming the building um, as well as also having inspires uh, to really you know inspire those Spanish to stand and keep fighting kind of in the name um, but yeah, I don't think they've got anything else to in the way of elite. Not a lot of squares either going on for the Spanish. This is always their vulnerability is that they get, yeah, one French cab charge can cause uh, disaster. And, all it's, and their morale is generally not that great either. They rely on mass. Accuracy is pretty decent and reloading skills pretty decent. They're, they're more of a shooting faction. They'll, wa they'll want to outshoot the French. They usually can. And the French rely on melee to try and get through. And here we go. There's Italian Dragoons going down. but not down the middle of the battlefield. Going into uh, some skirmishes here. And they've actually got away with it. Doesn't seem like the Spanish Cavs going to go in. They 
uh, Lightcap here is going to try and take these guys out. And looks like, again, more Spanish cavalry went in over here. Dragoons of Granada got routed by another Hussar unit by the looks of it. And then this uh, Dragoon here needs to get the heck out of Dodge. Uh, they did route the Italian Dragoons. Those guys, you know, not going to have the limelight like they did in history. Um, but yeah, they took out some Skirms. It's not really a great trade, actually, for them. More Dragoons going in here. Again, trying to kill Skirm. French cavalry being used to do a lot of the jobs of what like the French uh, skirmishers should be doing. We've got a young guard here as well, actually. I think it's a young guard. They might be middle, like a young. Uh, so we've got, yeah, a lot of guards can actually stay here as well. And middle guard. These are definitely middle guard because they're uh, like white uh, front showing. Usually the young guard are in like white coats like that. So yeah, a lot of guardsmen in this one. So this could make it a little bit tougher now for the French um, to try and break, uh, sorry, for the Spanish to break through here. And they have got, I was going to say, the, the young guard are pretty good in shooting uh, capabilities as well. So maybe they're going to be able to, able to take the Spanish on in a, in a gunfight. We will see. Yeah, Drew, they are falling back. Did their bit, I guess, killing off a skirmisher. But it's not really a great result there. Um, by losing some precious cavalry riders, you don't want to be losing them uh, just to other infantry just to kill off a skirmisher. But yes, if you want to get involved in any of sort of these scenario battles, if you're like, Pope, I want to get involved in some historical battles, then feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. As always, you're more than welcome to join. Um, and yeah, you, uh, they usually we host them on a uh, on a Monday night in streams or where we do these scenarios as well. Uh, so that's the day you need to be around. So yeah, just make sure you're in the Discord. You've got the NTW3 role, and then you can be notified about all things NTW3, whether that's streams, um, whether it's just scenarios or custom games. That's the place to be. We've got artillery setting up here, some force artillery. It's going to, uh, you know, replace some of this infantry in the front line. Stop blasting these poor poles on the uh, on the road here. We've got some Italian Laguerre as well. You start blasting. Those guys are pretty good uh, as well, if I remember. Like, their stats for shooting. And, uh, actually, not so much, but shooting, they're, they're, very, uh, they're pretty decent. And here we go, we've got a French cap, uh, sorry, a Spanish cap in behind French lines. I think that's going to be going for a general here, and there is one very open. This French general has uh, forgotten to uh, move his the general, keep him safe. It's always a risk with Spanish cap, and there you go, that's going to be a general dead for the French. I think that's probably going to be the right flank. There, there you go, yeah, general dead. That's uh, Polo losing his general. Uh, and yeah, you can see French uh, dragoons now dashing over to try and avenge the. Uh, Avengers the General gets light cav. They're going to go for the guns next. Uh, are, are the cavalry and they are just, yeah they're, they're desperately trying to run away as the dragoons. Oh, sorry, it's not the dragoons. It's the chasseurs, cheval, I think, chasing after them. The guns have sort of been dis disabled. At least the gun carriages are going to uh, no longer be there and the guns are going to be stuck there. The cav routes. The gun crew survives just about. So that's a good enough result anyway to get out a general. And I think it is his army on the right with most of the Vistula Legion is now leaderless. That is a big, big uh, problem for the French. They've got a lot of reserves here, still looking forward to more of this little legion the looks of it. And we've still got another general back here as well. And it looks like the, on the other side, the French... Look, look like they've lost a gun as well in a uh, in a cab charge. Uh, the, uh, the villain is that Castore there that's going in. And here we go, French cab going in a long column. Another Italian Dragoon actually coming forward again. Going in for skirmishes. They need to get rid of these guys with something else before these like really good dragoons go in. And then they need to support the dragoon with something. I mean, if they're going after the guns uh, or infantry, we can, now would be the time to throw forward some infantry, like all these skirms and all this infantry is not firing. Send forward some Vistula Legion, send something forward here that you can then get in to, to help it out. But they're just running in, getting skirmishes at the moment. They're not really you know, achieving a lot, is it? and they're expensive with the Italian Dragoons. They're some of the best cav in the French army, funnily enough. Certainly some of the best Dragoons. Uh, I think they are getting shot at now, maybe by line in between. Maybe they're just redlining because they're exhausted. So they routed another skirm, and now they're going to go for guns. The six-pounder here is, yeah, I think pretty much toast. I think the more concerning thing is that Friere is just here. Uh, and he could be got. I think they, yeah, there you go. The cab actually getting charged by infantry there. It's an infantry of Lorca. They actually charged the Dragoon and Router and saved the gun as well. And now with uh, no general on this flank here, I think the French are giving up uh, this initial position. They're going to fall back into the hills. 
the Spanish are also yeah really making a considerable push on this left flank here uh, with infantry and they're going to try and seize this hill and I guess work their way along what is this cab I think that might be the Polish Lancer yeah it is that's still a threat a scary threat as well but the Spanish getting a general advance on this flank here Still pretty much in a deadlock over on this side. So, I mean, I'd say it favours the uh, Spanish now because the artillery for the French is no longer here. The French other artillery piece. Oh, it's a howitzer. That's why. I was like, it's set back. It's not in the front lines. Because it's a wannabe. It's a howitzer. It's going to just lob uh, shots over this front line. It's probably in a huge mass of, French, uh, of Spanish infantry here. It's a lot. It's just been massive. And that's one Blake army. I think these are both the Blake cores here. So... Spanish uh, might be outpointing the French on this point, on this front here. It's just two seven-pointers on the other side, Friere and Santu uh, Sildes that are really making their push up this hill. Um, I think Blake might have had some things here. Yeah, he's got artillery up here, but I think that's it. And he's got some great positions, actually, for his artillery. It's why the Spanish were desperately trying to get this hill. I mean, if they even got further up this hill and got up here, then they'd be shooting down into the flank of the, of the French. And they're getting outgunned to these poor Frenchmen, you can see. Some of their troops are treating us as some Italians. Yeah, a lot of their other guys are about to redline and they could collapse any moment now. More artillery here for the French. It's been forgotten about. Uh, that, that, that's just been, for, yeah, that could have been in the front line making a big difference. More Vistula Legion moving forward. This is the healthy one. This might, I was going to say, it might get a good side charge coming down that hill. Because the, uh, I would say, Blake's infantry is not looking at it. It's busy shooting. Uh, dead ahead of them. They might have got a good side charge there, but they just haven't got the, the support to reinforce that. France has gone in here, though, with some French infantry. It's charging some... I don't know how good these, these uh, Spaniards are, but, I mean, they're getting surrounded of the French because the Spanish have so many troops that just, yeah, outflanking them. There you go, surrounded that. Whether that was the throwaway French to try and keep the Spanish in place, I don't know. Still got a lot of guardsmen here, though. These guys have caused a lot of problems. One good good charge could deal with them. And the young guard are okay in melee. Probably better than a lot of those Spanish infantry. Dragoons here, though, managing to deal with a bit of a French counteroffensive for some Italians as they try to try and get rid of those Tiradores there. I mean, France can still uses its artillery uh, position here. Even though the, the gun carriages are gone, this is a good linchpin position to, to uh, base your defense around and they're canistering the uh, Spanish uh, coming up that road and yeah they're probably doing a devastating amount of damage uh, Spain you know giving up their chase with their and uh, they got rid of that Italian looks like France was getting ready to counter charge with some Sars yeah Spain might you know on the low ground here but they're getting good flanks here with their volunteers uh, who are on the same ground as, as the French and actually side shotting and they're forcing back the French still it's real dangerous if the Spanish get too close to this gun. I mean, there's a lot of infantry here that can maybe give it a good go. Go, go for a charge onto them. Interested to see what the young guard do. Here come the Spanish on this flank here. They're going to start storming. They've got into melee. The Royal Guard are in. I mean, this line was crumbling as it is. And they really need to get stuff out of there. Another general dead. Whose general's gone now? This one? Where is the general there? I'm going to guess it's this general here must have died. Yeah, he has. You can see, I think he's been hit by artillery. Don't know if that was purposeful or what. That is unlucky for the French player there. He just lost his artillery in a, in a uh, Spanish. I think it's probably from the ones on the hill over there. blasting down. It hit the uh, the French general and rounded him. That's yeah, costly, I'd say. Uh, there's still one French general here that is uh, very much uh, alive and well. And still French troops here, just kind of standing. This Blake player here is, well, some of the Blake forces here just stood watching. They don't need to engage. They've broken through over here, and the, the French players got a, a few assets. Not a lot, but some just stood here and watching. I mean, these guys aren't even engaged. If you're going to actually uh, have them here, at least engage them. Um, but they're not even doing that at the moment. Uh, France has also got a little cav unit in behind, but uh, I think it's been noted by the... Uh, by the Grenadiers uh, Caballo over here, which is a Grenadier Cav unit that uh, Spain has, but it's not as good as like the French Grenadiers uh, who are mounted like the Le Doux. Uh, and there you go, the building's been stormed. It didn't take long. Guard Valona, Guardia Valona going in. It's not Royal Guard. Or well, maybe it is. It might be Royal Guard as well. But there you go. The building's been captured. The French are still fighting in there, though. There's something still in here. 
Uh, looks like... I don't know. If we zoom in, looks like... Might be Grenadiers. The French. I'm not really sure. They kind of look like they got a bit of a Grenadier look to them. Uh, France, though, still not giving up the fight on this hill here. They're still not giving up on their right flank. They still want to uh, fight for the hill. They've lost the LOC, though, as it stands. And the Poles here getting absolutely blasted in the flank as they try and melee. That's really good. That's what you got to do. If the French are going to send down one lone infantry like that and try and melee you, side, just turn a unit and side shot. I mean, you're then at risk of, I guess, getting charged again. That would be the next best thing to do is to send another unit down as the French and uh, charge the unit that's side shotting you. It's not shooting them the unit ahead, but uh, then you can try and rinse and repeat. I feel like you've got to do a bit of it. You've got to kind of come in from an angle with a melee charge anyway, and also you've got to go in with multiple units. You don't, your one lone infantry that goes in doesn't get side shotted. I mean, there you go, the French routed that unit. Um, the, the Poles, yeah, doing their bit. They might get this one as well, these volunteers. Spanish are routing there. It's like I said, it's what, as soon as one breaks, it causes so many more to break. It really does spread like wildfire, just routing in the Spanish army. Big cav fight still waiting to happen on the side here. Um, still, like, yeah, like five cav, five cav units here. Another one is shifting across, another Grenadier Caballo. Uh, just waiting for the French cav to make a move. The uh, Polish Lance is still not to do anything yet. They're still, like I said, still fighting hard for this, this hill. I mean, the French middle guard and young guard are yeah, pushing these guys back. And the Spanish here routing quite a few spots here. The guns nearly got taken, those nine pounders. Uh, the French, for some reason, coward from actually going in for that final sort of push to take the guns, at least with that unit. Uh, it looks like we've got to have some cab come forward here. Uh, that is the Polish Lancer, actually. Unless there's another one, there is, there is one there. There's a general as well pushing forward. And yeah, I mean, the French have done a good job. They forced the, the Spanish back in quite a few places. So they made an offense. The Spanish did not work. And they've been thrown back down the hill. And the French are actually really going down this road. And they're going to try and scare off some, uh, some cavalry here. And they've reformed their line over here as well. The, uh, the French as well. They've got artillery set up. Some Ita Italian artillery set up. Uh, they don't hold the LOC. But, you know, they can still feed troops in. They've got the uh, ability to do that. There's more Italians going in. French seem like they might just be throwing in any old unit. They need to really find a unit that's, you know, got the melee capability of, uh, of actually taking that building. A bit like this unit here, for instance. Vistula Legion, they probably would love a go at trying to take back the LOC for the uh, for the French. I mean, fighting Guardsmen as well in there, I think it is. That's the unit that's in there. The guard, uh, Guardia Valona is still in there. And there you go. Cav fight getting underway on that flank. Spain has committed the Cav. Trying to go in this, um, some light infantry here that's going to just probably just blast the poor Spaniards. Um, but yeah, it looks like actually the Spanish are not going to win this fight. They've lost what, two units there. Um, there's, yeah, these Dragoon, sorry, these Hussars seem pretty damn good. I don't think they're like guard Hussars, but they might be. But they don't, I don't think they are. I don't think there is such thing as a guard Hussar in the French, but they're just really good. And then the uh, Dragoons over here, Dragoons Lusitania. For Blake, this is actually Blake's troops are on this left flank here. Is 2v1ing this French cab pretty well? There you go, routes one, probably will route the other now. And there you go, but everyone just kind of routed in that cab fight there. And this Dragoon uh, Villo, uh, Villacosa might return, I think. Uh, and this Dragoon Lusitania has just about won in a 2v1. Incredible. So Spain sort of won the cab fight, but not really. It only has one cab left. Well, another one might return, maybe a couple more might return. But yeah, it's pretty costly for both sides there. Both sides pretty much turning up, uh, ending up with no cav left. On, at least on that flank. Spain still has, yeah, a lot of these Grenadiers, Caballo. It has one here. I think it has another one. Yeah, right down the middle of the road at the moment. And another cav unit here. A, a little Castore cav, a light cav. And uh, France still has the old guard Lancer, which is now looking like it's going in. Going in after the uh, artillery is a good uh, choice. These nine pounders will no longer exist. I say that as they are still green lining. Is that Lancer really not gonna <laughs> not gonna round that gun? I don't think it is. You know, somehow the nine pounder survived. These guys have made of better stuff than uh, most Spaniards. 
The R3 up here. I think this has moved. I think this has moved up the ridge. It was originally here. It is now on this ridge. The six pounder. It's got, yeah, another great position. It can sort... I think it's got a decent enough angle. Yeah, I'd say just about can see the uh, the French over there. Can probably do some flanking shots into them. And if not, it can shoot down into that new French line just by the LOC. Weary, and now a general advance has been called on that far right flank of the Spanish. Looks like they might have enough guns... Uh, to deal with the French here. Uh, I don't know, the varying quality of these Spaniards, so never know. But like I said, in a line fight, you, you give yourself a decent chance against the uh, Frenchies. I mean, the French have a lot of visceral legion in these. And like I said, they are, they are good at shooting, but they don't want to be shooting. They want to be in melee. So the French, again, need to somehow negotiate these units into a, into a, a melee fight. I'd honestly have the visceral legion on the flank. That's where you're most likely to try and get a, a charge off. You don't want to try and do one straight down the middle. France does go for a cap charge here. Spain can't form square. The infantry of Ronda might route here. Red lining. Uh, can the next unit? Uh, no, they can't break. Uh, they can't square either. And France actually is sending forward uh, infantry now. This is yeah. Maybe should come forward a little bit earlier. But yep, still good. The cab. I don't know. How, I don't know if it's fresh or not. Cause I can't tell. But yeah, they're gonna probably get that one as well. Next unit also can't form square. This is the, yeah, it looks like a lot of these guys can't form square. So yeah, I mean, if the French cab can take that one out, if the infantry can get in, it might be able to give themselves a chance. Some uh, tiny little light cav here getting over. Maybe this can, you know, sort of revitalize the French. They should really now call a general advance on most of these units here. Get these guys in. I'd probably go all the way up to the Vistula Legion unit here. Call, get them in. Uh, maybe get this unit to sort of distract. Just send them all this way. Just start going down the flank. Turn that Spanish flank. Yeah, keep all the, get the French to go left. And just see if you can break it. And the infantry did not win. Because it got side shot. You need more infantry to come forward at once. Not just one at a time. And the Spanish cab arriving late did help route that uh, that little French cab unit. Which looked like it might be an ally. Just a cheval of some sort. The Casadores here. I imagine with the uh, infantry Seguenza. Seguenza, I think. Uh, they're probably going to route those guys. Oh, actually the cab route, routed. Maybe Spain won't win that fight. I don't know if they will. Back on this side here. Spain is going to back in. What have they got here? Infantry of Seville going in. Pretty decent unit. It's only 90 man unit. It's formed square. Good idea is Caballo going up the hill. The squares are being formed though by a lot of these Vistula Legion units as expected. Now the Spanish is really just stand their ground and start blasting these squares. That's what you got to do. Get those guys. For, force you, uh, a player into square formation. Uh, if you've got your infantry post, then start blasting the square and then charge it. If you can get all those off, you're doing pretty well. And they, yeah, the Vistula Legion instead is actually going to charge in. And they finally got the Spanish in their sights and their bayonet sights. And they're going to actually get in there and do some, some real damage, hopefully. What else have they still got up here? Italian. Oh, that's a Vistula Legion though as well there. That's, and that's reasonably healthy enough to do some damage. Uh, Spanish Cav that has returned is a long way away and very tired. Uh, it looks like Spain is going to have to retreat again here. And another assault on this hill. They'll take it and the, and the Vistula Legion might get another Spanish unit here. So many Spanish have died trying to take this final hill. Which is this one that the, uh, the red lining on. I mean, I think they actually might route these guys. If they can side sh uh, shot them, they'll be okay. I mean, this is a, it was a much better line, it seems, for, this, uh, for the French to hold, to be honest. I mean, they needed to kind of hold a bit further forward for the French to keep contesting this ridge uh, for most of the game. But I feel like they've held a lot better here, to be honest. Though they kind of also mean to give up the LOC. But I mean, to be honest, if they, they had the ability to keep feeding troops in just down that street. They kept kind of maybe forced their line a little bit further forward on the left. And they could keep feeding in. Uh, troops down that uh, down the street here, just get into the building and keep fighting for it if they needed to. I uh, really they should have just put a Vistula Legion in there from the start of the game. I don't know what was in there originally for the French. Maybe it was a Grenadier. Um, I'm not sure, but it might, if it was a Vistula Legion, they would have had a tough time taking that building in Spanish. They w it would have, and it did anyway. They did require a, a guardsman to take it. I don't think the generic infantry would take it for the Spanish uh, if it was a French Grenadier in there. But yeah, a, a friend, um, I think a Vistula Legion would have dealt quite easily with a uh, Spanish Guardsman. 
Um, someone commented in like the last uh, NGW3 video we did, and yeah, said like Spanish guards are some of the worst guards around, and they are. They really are. Official Legion here though, getting flanked uh, by bayonets and getting shot in the front. That's just a little too much for those poles. Uh, the Spanish having won on this hill here, finally also winning on this hill here, routing the remains of those uh, those Vistula Legion. Uh, I think there's more side shotting taking place. Uh, they're now going to be able to just flank into the uh, the French here. More young guard here. I don't know if you guys fell back or just got left in reserve. I really hope they just fall back. They're also still pretty intact, just saying. I think uh, if we were to look on the, up on this hill, I think this is where most of the middle and young guard did end up dying. That's the Italians there. And the middle guard might have gone into melee somewhere and didn't make it out. But no, it's kind of hard to tell with the bodies. Kind of hard to tell. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's going to be a bit of a change in history in this one here today. Looks like uh, the French did win it historically. They're not going to win it here in today's game. But that's the joy of these battles, is it? Historical battles. They start off as, you know, sort of on a historical map, but historical uh, cause. But the results can be something very, very ahistorical. Looks like the, uh, the Spanish just make sure these, stay, these guys stay gone. There is actually, yeah, a lot of them. These are all looking like they have middle guard here as well, actually. Alright, there's more one in here then. And there's a lot of middle guard, actually. Middle, middle and young guard, I should say. It's a, it's a mix of the two in there, but yeah. Maybe this is where they shifted. Maybe came down from that hill, came down. Maybe that's where they died instead. I was busy worrying... Uh, in the, when we played this live, I was busy worrying about my one hill fight over there against the Digital Legion. I was very scared by them. Uh, I love using them. Uh, facing them is also just terrifying. Um, because, yeah, even though they're, they're not the biggest of units of Digital Legion, they, are, they pack a punch. Uh, I, yeah, but I, I feel like, I don't know, it kind of went wrong for the French, I mean, in this long line fight here, just, uh, they shouldn't have taken that line fight, they should have maybe tried to get themselves into melee, um, and certainly had like all their generic French and Italian infantry sort of in the front lines, sort of covering, and then maybe had uh, Vistula Legion and maybe other melee units to try and then come through, try and do uh, with the support of the cavalry as well, kind of what they tried to do on this side here, uh, very early on the Vistula Legion made some charges, Made a little bit of headway, um, but I think they should have let the Spanish come a bit further into the hills. It seemed to work more in their benefit defending these hills. Uh, pathfinding seems a little bit of a tricky mess up on these hills. Uh, you couldn't advance easily in a solid line, which might have benefited the uh, the French a little bit more, um, to be honest. I don't know what happened to that Lancer either in the end. I, I can't really remember, but it failed to take that gun out, so... It didn't have a very honourable game. It didn't do a very good job of anything. And yeah, the Spanish, I think, are just farming kills. The guard of Bologna is still down here. Yeah, like, I mean, this was the, I feel like was a problem. I mean, they are decent in shooting, but they're not what you... You're not bringing them for the shooting. You're bringing them for the melee. The, like, a lot of these officially legion ended up just finding themselves in, uh, uh, in a front line. Fighting up against, like, yeah, they got, like... Four units of Spanish here to try and take, shoot against. They're not going to do that. They're not superhuman. There you go, Grenadiers. And Caballo now just going down the line, routing. His four French line infantry. And the general actually just routed. I don't think he died. I think he just routed. And there you go. They're now going to charge in the uh, Vista Legion. One last hurrah. It's what they should have been doing all game. And they're going to route. I mean, I, get, I mean, it didn't really matter. You shouldn't really like send what seven units the Spanish into one French. And the game's over. But if it was like you know a close game, then uh, yeah, two v one. I think is the is the rules that you're allowed. It's to, so you're not blobbing. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is the Battle of Saguntum. The Spanish are gonna win here today instead of the French. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more NTW three battles on uh, the channel then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here and a comment show your support and all that shenanigans, join the Discord uh, and all of that. And yeah, hopefully the end uh, results are up on your screen as well while I've been waffling away here. So you can have a look at those. Hopefully, I can't remember how well I did. 
I think I did okay um, playing as Santos Sildes. Um, we'll have a quick look at some of the end results. Uh, yeah, my infantry here, the Astorius, getting 157 kills. Uh, 150 kills with some of my volunteers there of Astorius. Uh, 121 kills with Pedro Guerrero. Uh, 105 kills with the uh, volunteers of Ribeiro. Uh, and then, yeah, there are the rest of my kills. My Dragoons, 76 kills. Not so bad. But yeah, I just had a lot of, like, just a lot of infantry. Those are a varying quality of, like, elite and also just militia. Um, so, yeah, it was a, a fun build. I enjoy playing in Spain. I've actually played a few custom games as well as Spain. And I had a, good, a, lot, a lot of joy as well. I really enjoyed uh, playing with um, them. I might try and play them a bit more in custom games. Um, but yeah, if you want to, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, check out some of the NTW3 videos appearing on your screen now, if you haven't checked those out. Hopefully I've left a link as well for the uh, playlist for the Napoleonic Wars. So if you want to go through all of the historical battles in chronological order, you can do so, uh, you mad lads. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.